Okay, you guys, I want to talk to you about Bygone and also my book series, Not Workshop Approved. So Bygone is coming out, which is actually, to be honest, probably the most, for the general public, probably the most riveting of all of them. Um, it's, it's vivid. If you're into emotions or love or um, the politics therein, oh, it's good. It's uh, it's compelling. It's intriguing. I stand by this one. I feel strongly that it's very solid. It is a bit longer than the other ones, um, and uh, yeah, it's compelling stuff. There's some some really good stuff in there. Check it out. It is a compilation. It's not written about one particular person, uh, more like different people through my past, um, specifically lovers and um, things that I had written to different ones. So it is rife with emotion. Um, you know, it, it goes through things of the breakup. It goes through um, problems during the relationship that it's it's mostly the dramatics of it I'll be honest with you I don't often write when I'm happy so <laughs> you can imagine um but it's got a lot of things it's got passion it's got attitude it's got um redemption it's got um it's just vivid vivid dramaticism but in a beautiful way in a thoughtful way so um Bygone, obviously the sentiment is right there in the title. It's almost a mockery of my lover's past, as you did to me. Um, not against any particular person, but just of the concept in itself. It's a book that mocks itself in a way. Um, that, that mocks both the, the subject and the um, writer itself. So... Um, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. It is. Uh, check it out. This one was not written in two weeks, um, unlike Climax and Passable, which was. Uh, this one is is more of a thoughtful selection than that. Um, and anyway, so not workshop approved because. Donovan and his family like jacked my shit. Thanks again. Yeah, real, real fucking classy though. Cause they jacked my shit. This is now book three. It should be more than but book three in this series, not workshop approved. And um, so, so far there's been Climax Impassable, which is a book written to a specific lover that I wrote in two weeks while heavily pregnant, hormonal and pissed off. And just went, fuck it, I'm going to write a book. Just just for the sake of writing a book. Literally, that book is the essence of art for art's sake. Because that's exactly why it exists. And then, um, Notes on a Revolution. And more thoughtful selections throughout the years. Where I cherry-picked um, things along this theme of revolution. And that can be micro and macro. That can be personal and also political. Um... So it's just sort of standing on the sidelines of a revolution, my interpersonal and also the potential of the obvious. Um, and then uh, um, this one, Bygone, is back to the boys. So it's sort of staggered like that. Um, there will predictably be another book which will go back to politics, both macro and micro. Um, not with a the theme of revolution exactly, but of a different kind of politics. I'll go into that later. Um, and uh, if there's another one in the future, which I'm not promising at this point, but <laughs> am foreshadowing in, in the, I don't want to give a timetable on it because I don't want to put pressure on myself because writing is supposed to be fun, then that one will be we'll see um so yes uh that is what's to come the next one will predictably be done um 
by within this end of this year, um, which will complete four of the Not Workshop approved series. Um, I will probably be putting this on multiple sites. You know, I've only been doing it on Amazon Kindle. I didn't really push for much. Um, with this series, I'll be honest with you, I'll be totally frank. Getting a book published, an entire book published of poetry where you get paid like upfront for it is a feat in itself. Getting a series is damn near impossible. Uh, in America, it's not. And you can look this up. This is no bullshit. Getting poetry published and paid for up front is one of the hardest genres to possibly push. Uh, very few. You'll see, like, the largest poetry publishing people in the U.S. will brag, you know, have been open for 10 years, will be like, we've published 200 books. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good, um, because that's like not very many books a year um, if you break it down. So um, getting paid up front for this, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not saying it, it's not going to happen. I'm saying it's, it's difficult and something that we're just going to have to see. Um, I haven't made too much of a push with the appropriate... Um, publishers a little bit, but not much. I think I submitted to like 10 that were actually like the appropriate ones. And that was with, and I'm not trying to be rude, but with what I would consider my weakest book, which is, you know, still fond of the sentiment, but Climax Impassable because it was written so quickly, there wasn't a lot of selection for me. And so I think that it doesn't stand as firm as Notes on a Revolution and, and Bygone, which are much stronger books overall. Um, so, you know, I'm leading with that and I, I could just lead with <laughs> one of the others. Um, so yeah, if this is a topic that interests you, if, I mean, obviously that's all you guys fucking talk about is where I've been, you vastly exaggerate a lot of things, but if you want to know some realities about those relationships, at least from my point of view of the emotional side or the conflicts that happened, um then um, you can check it out. And uh, again, that's Bygone by Tara Jones on Amazon Kindle being published. That's, that's my little my leg. Being published, um, but it's in the process right now. And, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs>